Hi, Shane Saracen. It's time for Thursday Thoughts. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite drummers. Uh, and the reason I'm talking about it now instead of waiting is because of the new album they just put out a week or so ago. So anyway, the drummer is Todd Zuckerman. That's the way I say it. If I'm wrong, Todd, excuse me. But uh, this is the new album, Crash of the Crowns. Uh, I've been listening to it nonstop in the car over and over again. And uh, it's really growing on me very quickly. Uh, first off, let me just say, uh, it's if you're an old Sticks fan, you want to check this out. Uh, this is not your Mr. Roboto Sticks. This is, uh, I guess the best way I can describe it is like if you took the Sticks of old and you take the new Sticks and you mix them together, it's a perfect blend. Um, and Todd Zuckerman is just tremendous, does some tremendous drumming on this album. Uh, really gets a chance to shine quite a bit uh, and, uh, you know, provides an energy that is just unmistakable. Um, the last album they did a few years ago, The Mission, is, is still one of my favorite albums ever. And uh, I felt like that Sticks lineup really just took a huge leap in identifying themselves as not only Sticks, but as a new conglomeration that had the some of the elements of the past, but just forging a, few, a future. This is another step in that future. Um, it's uh, somewhat concept-like, but it's uh, it's just it's just refreshing and new, but at the same time somewhat familiar in a lot of ways with some of the classic type sticks, uh, harmonies and uh, keyboard lines and stuff like that. Now, you know, a lot of people, again, when they talk about classic rock bands, they, well, it's not this person, it's not this person. Uh, this lineup of sticks that's on here has been together longer than the original lineup ever was. So, and they still have uh, J.Y. Young in there from the beginning. And uh, of course, Tommy Shaw from, you know, the Crystal Ball might have been his first one. I hope I'm not messing that up, but uh, Equinox or whatever, but anyway, Tremendous album, Todd, amazing. So I'm gonna say, just if you don't have this, I'm gonna move it, hopefully the glare will move. Hold it that way for a second, that way. Uh, I'm old school, I always prefer to have the CD so I can uh, listen to it. Um, there's something about me that likes the sound of, of CDs. Now, that being said, um, let's talk about Todd for a minute. Um, the first time I had noticed Todd Zuckerman in any way was uh, on a double live disc by Styx that was uh, called Return to Paradise, and there was a, a DVD of it as well. And uh, it's pretty much like a Styx Greatest Hits type thing, and I just, uh, this is just floored me. Todd's drumming just floored me, and this is after... Uh, either during that tour or before John Panazzo had passed. And I was just like, who is this guy? Just amazing. And I, I just kept, you know, seeing it. And I remember going to Pacing one year and finding out that he was going to be doing a clinic. I want to say it was in Austin, Texas, but I'm not 100% sure. So um, I remember seeing this clinic and just being floored by how tremendous he played and how great he was at communicating and whatnot, and um, he, he just got my attention from that point on. And uh, he put out a Methods and Mechanics drumming DVD that at that time, nobody had done anything like that that was shot that way. It was so informative and so well done and whatnot. And uh, videos had been out forever, and they, but the way this was done was, was just tremendous. And I remember buying it at, uh, at a booth at PASIC and having him autograph it. Um, I believe that's how it was. It might have been the Methods of Mechanics 2 that he autographed because it seems like I had already seen that, owned that before that. But either way, he was there and I got him to autograph it for me. Uh, both of them are tremendous. Uh, and of course I had seen him play with sticks and I was just like floored. And I was also the president of the Progressive Art Society in, in uh, Boise, Idaho 
president of the Idaho chapter for many years, and I just said, I've got to get this guy to do a day of percussion. And through uh, connections at Pearl and whatnot, I was able to get in touch with Todd and have him come and do the day of percussion, being the headline artist. And again, uh, put on a tremendous clinic and, and uh, you know, regardless of who's in the audience, from a kid to a grandparent, he knew exactly what to say to encourage people to get involved in drumming and to encourage parents to support uh, their youngsters as they were getting involved in drumming. And uh, I just, he's just a role model and whether he wants to be or not, he is in so many ways. And um, Todd, I give you credit for getting me to actually enjoy sushi because I had tried it once before then and was not a fan. Todd and um, Murray Gussick, who was also doing the day of percussion, we went out for sushi and uh, got me on sushi and I've had it. I don't have it often, but I, I have had it ever since. And so uh, Todd is going to be on my wall of drummers behind me because I guess they're consider him to be so inspirational. Not so much in me trying to copy what he does, but just in um, inspiring me with his playing, with his post and everything like that and he's just a positive type guy and um, also one of my favorite drummers if not my favorite has always been Steve Smith and I one of my favorite uh, recordings of Steve Smith is with Enigmatic Ocean with Jean-Luc Pony and I know Todd talks about that quite a bit as well and actually did a solo uh, where he said uh, thank you Mr. Smith because he was so influenced by Steve Smith so uh you know, I have a lot of favorite drummers and I have a, a wall behind me where I, I can't put all of them. This is not the wall, it's in, it's in the other room behind the drum set, where I have my first teacher and I have Buddy Rich and I have Ringo and I have John Bonham up there and uh, Jim Krupa. And uh, so amongst these pictures, and Steve Smith is there, amongst these pictures is going to be uh, Todd Superman. Because he's, he's so influential and definitely of the last several years or since I've come to know who he is, he's definitely become my favorite drummer during that time. So uh, kudos to Todd. Uh, the mission was outstanding. Uh, this one is growing on me every minute as I listen to it. It really features Todd quite a bit. Uh, some great drumming and elements of Afro-Cuban not obvious elements, but you can tell the influence there of uh, some of the licks that he's doing, the way he's playing some things. Um, so, uh, kudos, great album. Let's check it out, Crash of the Crowns. Uh, check out The Mission, check out anything with Todd Superman of Sticks, and if they're coming around uh, playing, I highly recommend seeing them. Um, they just put on a tremendous show. So anyway, my Thursday thoughts today, one of my new favorite drummers and new over the last it seems like now that it's been, you know, you know, 20 years, but it's Todd Zuckerman. So thanks, Todd. Hope to see you soon.